Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be configuring multi-pass networking or different networks, switches, and everything within the VMware environment so we can have our iSCSI network traverse that data. So that's what this is gonna be about. Pay attention because it's a lot of detail. And if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're returning, let's have some fun. Let's jump onto the desktop and see what we got going on. All right, everyone. So here is, let me actually make this bigger because I know my resolution is always not very big. So let me do 175. I think that should be better. All right. So I have, let's go ahead and open up our vCenter. So let me bring this over here. This is what I want to be referring to. Let me make this a little bigger. All right, so I have two iSCSI NICs that I'm going to be associating and IPing 10.10.10.111 and 211. And this is going to be v, VM NIC 6 and 7. We'll get to that in a moment. And that's going to be on ESXi 1 and ESXi 2. So yeah, let me bring that back over here. Let me make this smaller so it fits over here so I can refer to it because I know I'm gonna need that. And let me make this smaller because just wanna make sure it fits. All right, give me one second, sorry guys. All right, so in our VMware, let me go to ESXi1. If you guys are following along, let's go ahead and go to settings really quick. In settings, we have eight virtual adapters I configured. So obviously network adapter custom VNet eight is our, our network to get onto our domain controller, a 192.168.100 network. And two to eight is going to be for vMotion and all the other stuff, but we're gonna be focusing on the iSCSI in this one, which is gonna be seven and eight in here, but six and seven inside of vCenter, okay? And that's the same exact thing for ESXi2. All right, so let's go back to here and ESXi1, and let's go ahead and go to configuration and pay close attention. I actually took some notes too, so I don't get lost. And so first thing, let's go to our vKernel adapters and physical adapters, All right? So my physical adapter, I know this is probably gonna be a little big, but we have zero to, to, to seven. And we can see here our IP address scheme, that's the on the vSwitch zero, all right? So six and seven is what we're gonna be utilizing, right? So we're gonna be adding those two into our switch, okay? So the next thing, I'm just going down my notes. Let's go to virtual switches. And as we can see here, this is our virtual switch. So what we're gonna do, let me make this a little smaller on my end over here, super zoomed in. Uh, that's maybe too, I think that should be good. All right, so let's go ahead. And the first thing we're gonna do is add networking. So we're gonna add a new vKernel network adapter. Let's go ahead and hit next. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new standard switch. With the MTU, can be 1500, that's fine for me. Okay, and here, let's make this a little smaller if I can. All right, so I'm, I'm just going by my notes. So we have six and seven. So we can come down, bring this down a little bit. We have this little thing. We can see six and seven. Let's go ahead, six and shift and seven and move down to active adapters. So let's go ahead and see if we can, um, you know what? I think I may have to make this a little smaller. Let me cancel this real quick. And let me make the resolution just a tiny bit smaller, just so I can see everything. Let's see if 150 works. Because there's some settings there that I don't see that we need to see. Let me add this, that's fine. Create a new virtual switch or new standard switch, next. Okay, there we go. As you can see now, we have active adapter, standby adapters, and we couldn't see that with the big resolution, right? So six and seven, we're gonna highlight those two. 
and move those down to active. So we're gonna enable these two adapters, right? For ESXi1 and ESXi2, okay? So let's go ahead and hit next. And we're gonna go ahead and name this. I think I named this, I put this in my, I'm just gonna do it iSCSI. Let's do iSCSI. Uh, I think I put it in Nick01, yeah. Nick, Nick1. I want to do zero one. That's fine. Everything else is default. All the VLANs, all that stuff in my case is all default. And my IP address, and let me bring that back over here so you guys can see. Let me bring that back over here. So as you can see right here, this is what I'm following. So it's going to be 10.10. .10, let me make sure. Yep. 10.10.10.111 for vnix6 okay so let me bring that back over here so 10.10.10.111 and then two okay perfect we don't need a gateway because this is all traversing within the network okay finished so now we have let's bring this up now we have this v switch one the standard v switch one and we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing and add a new one, right? So let's add a new network. And we're going to do to an existing, to a switch one, because that's the one we just created. And I think I named this, let me, let me go back to my names, vnic2. Yep. So I'm going to do i scuzzy uh, 2. Perfect. And next, and then here. What is my IP address here? It is 211. Okay, so 10.10.10.211. Okay. All right, perfect. Whoops. 211, 211. Yep, that's all good in the hood. Next, finished. So we have, let me make sure that looks good. Perfect. So now what we need to do is create some, we have to edit these because right now, so let's edit vnic1. Well, I always say vnic, nic1. And let's go down to teaming and failover. And let me see what I have this as. This one, vnic1, I have it, uh, the active is six. So override six. So seven, I wanna go ahead and go down to, whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's go move that up. Let me make sure I'm just doing this right. This one's going down to so unuse. Six is going, Jesus, going up. Okay, there we go. I think that looks good. I'm just checking it okay. So VNIC, I'm just looking perfect. I think we should be golden now. And Nick two is going to be six. So let's go ahead and make sure this is six. Override six is going to be unused. Okay, just making sure everything is good. Perfect. All right, perfect. So now we can see the uh, zero two is going to seven. Zero one is going to uh come on to six all right perfect just want to make sure all that's good and yeah looks all good all good so now we're going to do that same thing on our uh, esxi2 okay so let's do that same exact thing we're going to add a new network hopefully we can remember all these steps next new switch yep we're going to do six and seven active move down to active perfect and i think i made this one let me go down and check uh what did i name this i think it's one right we make one and then uh, what did i do this ip address i'm just going back to my notes here it's going to be 112. So 10.10.10.112. 10 
Okay, perfect. All right, let's drop this down. All right, so now let's add one more network. Next to an existing VNIC one, or VSwitch one, perfect. And then name this I scuzzy Nick. Oh, shoot. Did I put it? Yeah, Nick one. Okay. Add this. Sorry. Existing. I scuzzy. Nick two. Perfect. And this is going to be two one two. So ten dot ten. Whoops. Two one two. Yep. Okay, perfect. There we go, finished. All right, so I think that should be good. One, so one, two, one, one, two, two, twelve, one, twelve, two, twelve. Let's go back to zero, one and come back down here. One, 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 two, one, one. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so let's come back here. We have to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and edit. Override and Nick one. I'm going to go back here. What was my Nick one? My Nick one was six. So seven, whoops, seven was unused. One was just making sure all that stuff is good. Perfect. And then two, edit, teaming. Override. So V Nick, um, Nick two, so six was unused. Perfect. Awesome. So let's go ahead and refresh this or whatever. I think we should be good. And I think that is it to configure this. So that is all we're going to do today is configure the V switches, the network for our iSCSI. And the next one, let's see what I'm doing next. I'm looking in my documents. So the next video is going to be how to map the LUN to, to the database or to, to a data, data store, right? That's what I have in here. And we're going to do that within vCenter. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. This is how you create vSwitches, add the network, and... Hopefully you learned something. I know it's a lot, so you might have to watch it a few times. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you so much.